was a definite science nerd. I like science when there were rocks involved. That has been one of the constants in my life. But you know what happened after that, after science class? <laughs> People stole my lunch money. <laughs> Bet you can't name all of my elements. Mm. My team, they like to see me sweat. Let's check what's in the next. I do, oh, I get it. I do crazy things for gems. So, I do craze also known as Vesuvianite, is obviously the subject for the episode today, but I have forgotten the chemical composition of Idocrase. So we're gonna play a little game. It's gonna be like a game show today. I'm gonna try to name all of the members of the complex chemical composition of Vesuvianite. But first we're gonna talk a little bit about the material. Uh, Vesuvianite, also known as Idocrase, is not probably well known to those who are in the gem and jewelry business. It is mostly valued by mineralogists as a specimen. It comes in a variety of different colors, not only in the green, like we have right here. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. You may also find it in yellows, browns, white, blue, bluish green, um, purple, I think also a violet as well. Like I said, this isn't gonna be something you're probably gonna see in a jewelry store. This is definitely something you would see in a mineral collection, maybe at a museum. Something that is really cool is its name. Vesuvian Night is named after Mount Vesuvius in Italy, which as many of you know, blew up and covered Pompeii. Um, that is actually where the name comes from. And fun fact, I read an article about Mount Vesuvius. And did you know it was like so hot when it burst that it turned people's brains to glass? That is so gross, but so cool. All right, so now we're gonna play the game. Vesuvianite is known for very complex and variable chemical composition. So I'm gonna see how many elements I can name and my production team is gonna grade me. Um, okay, so Vesuvianite, also known as Idocrase, has boron in it. Okay, silicon, magnesium, iron, titanium? No, no titanium. Darn it. Um, no titanium, oh man, what else? Oxygen, it has oxygen in it. Okay, so we have oxygen. Oh, aluminum, aluminum. The three most common elements in the earth are aluminum, silicon, and oxygen. I, I did okay, that was like an A for effort. Probably a B for how, how many I mentioned, but that's okay. We have another box. Oh, so I mentioned earlier how if you are a mineralogist, you are probably gonna be more familiar with Vesuvianite. If there are faceted stones. They are rare, they are highly prized in the business. And of course here at JTV, we have our hands on all parts of the business and we are able to get a couple stones. We have to be careful with these stones because Vesuvianite is only about a six and a half on the most scale of hardness. In the gem community, when you do find a piece of faceted Vesuvianite, they are highly prized. I'm actually wearing some earrings right now that have Vesuvianite, also known as Idacraze in them. All right, another box, right? Oh, I know what this is. This is called California Jade which is a misnomer. This is actually not jade at all. It is Vesuvianite. A misnomer is a name for a stone that implies that it is similar to a stone that is maybe more valuable or commands a higher price per carat. Vesuvianite does not command the price per carat that a true jade does. It is still you know, a gift that we're lucky to find. I think this is a really cool piece because it is an example of the different colors. So we talked about blue in Vesuvianite. There's some blue, you can see some blue greens and green right here. A lot of times you're gonna see Vesuvianite that's actually carved. And I think you can see why this would be a really cool piece to carve. Another thing I think is interesting is this is a completely opaque piece, but you know, these stones right here are rather transparent. So I think that's a really cool example of how stones can not only give you different types of color, but also transparency. Another fun fact, Idacrase comes from the Greek word for mixed form. And that kind of alludes to the fact that there are so many different elements that go into the making of Idacrase. We have a stone that has roots in Greece. We have a stone that has roots in Italy. It really is a global stone. I know East Africa has the material that is oftentimes faceted, gem quality material. 
But if you are in Italy, Norway, Russia, Pakistan, I believe, just to name a few, you can also find Vesuvianite there. And remember, Vesuvianite is not always gonna look the same. It can be opaque, it can be transparent, it can be kind of a bluish green, it can be purple, it can be white, it can come in brown. I know Canada is known for brown material, a stone that is complex, it is variable, it comes in a variety of different colors. So on this channel, we have talked a lot about lore. Some people believe that Vesuvianite can allegedly help um, get rid of your fears, um, quell your anger, and help you get rid of like negative thoughts. You know, I think it's just kind of ironic that Vesuvianite, you know, named after Mount Vesuvius, which is the big volcano that killed a lot of people and may or may not have turned someone's brain to glass, is a stone that is also known for healing. I mean, if you're afraid of volcanoes, wear Vesuvianite. If you're angry about Pompeii, wear Vesuvianite. If you're terrified of your brain turning to glass, wear Vesuvianite. Um, but this is just another day on a science channel. We are gonna take a closer look at this slab of Vesuvianite right here. Remember, this is not California Jade. That is a misnomer. This is in fact Vesuvianite. Take a look at those colors. Take a look at that pattern. I just think it's really beautiful and interesting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell. Why don't you guys leave me a volcano emoji in the comment section and um, let me know what you would like to see coming up on the show. Would you like to see me go to Mount Vesuvius? Uh, well, what do you think about a trip on YouTube to Mount Vesuvius? Comment below and let us know what you think. And in the meantime, remember to always be learning, don't side ID and, and have fun with gemology. It really is a shiny, no, that was stupid. Shiny, what's better than shiny? That What's a gemstone pun? Leave me a gemstone pun in the comments because I'm running out of material and I'm really not that funny. So catch you guys later.